Let's face it, most software engineering resumes are the exact same. Same projects, same skills, and same qualifications. Now, if you want to stand out, you need to be different. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to update your projects and work on things that are unique. The best projects are easy to talk about in an interview, solve some real world problem, and are sufficiently challenging. That's why in this video, I've assembled five unique project ideas that are guaranteed to make you stand out and give you an unfair advantage. Now, the way I created this list is so that no matter what type of role you're applying for, at least one of these projects will stand out and look really, really good. So if the first few projects don't sound amazing to you, just stick around. I promise one of them will give you some really good inspiration. Now, with that said, the first project idea I have for you is an automated trading bot. This means that you're gonna write some kind of bot using some type of algorithm or technique that could trade cryptocurrency, NFTs, or real assets on something like a stock exchange. You also could use fake assets. There's all kinds of APIs you can utilize where you can kind of trade fake money. Now, this is great because it stands out on a resume. It's genuinely interesting and it's something you'll probably have a lot of fun building. Now, these are the best type of projects, one where you're actually doing a real world activity, something that you're passionate about and that's interesting and you want to talk about in an interview. The nice thing here is that it doesn't actually have to work. It could completely fail. You could lose money and it would still be a really great story and something that someone is genuinely interested in. If I looked at a resume and saw automated trading bot, my first question would be, how much money did you make or how much money did you lose? So it's interesting either way. And this shows that you know how to use APIs. You can build a real world application. You know how to execute some kind of algorithm or technique. So to follow instructions with code and you know how to host the bot in a way where it's responding to some kind of events or triggers and performing some type of action. That's project number one, really great idea. I highly recommend you give it a shot. Now, if you do build a project like that, you're gonna wanna be careful with your passwords, security, and credentials. So you should definitely check out NordPass, the sponsor of this video. NordPass provides the ultimate password and credential management solution, which is genuinely something I've been looking for for a very long time. I don't know about you, but I have all kinds of passwords, accounts, credentials, credit cards, etc., many of which I share with teammates, and it's a constant struggle to keep them secure, but to allow my teammates to access them quickly. Now with NordPass, you can store all of your sensitive business or personal data in a single location and securely share them with other members of your team. Now, if you don't believe me, you can try a three month free trial using my activation code techwithtim at the link nordpass.com slash techwithtim, which means you'll no longer need to respond to requests quest for shared credentials. Not to mention NordPass autofills passwords, credit card details, and more, saving you and your business time and ultimately money. With additional features like password breach detection, data activity logs, password generators, access controls, and more, NordPass is the ultimate platform to not only keep you safe, but to keep you moving quickly. With over 80% of hacking incidents caused by stolen or reused login information and 81% of company data breaches being caused by weak passwords, you need to get your security under control. Now you can do that by trying a three month free trial using my activation code tech with Tim at nordpass.com slash tech with Tim from the link in the description. Moving on to project number two, I have a sentiment analysis tool. Now this is a bit more generic, but you can really make this project pretty advanced and something that's really interesting and stands out on a resume. To start, what you would wanna do is scrape something like tweets, YouTube comments, posts, medium articles, whatever it is that you want, and you wanna use natural language processing to analyze the text and determine the sentiment. So positive, negative, very positive, very negative. You can go as granular as you want. And then what you could do is actually track the trends over time. For example, you could track a specific person and you could see if their sentiment goes up or down over time based on specific events. You could track an event. You could track some keyword that's being searched on Google. You can do all kinds of great stuff here and you could even set up the tool to track dynamic types of data. This is a really great project, especially if you're someone who works a lot in Python, you need data science related stuff. It's gonna show that you understand how to work with large sets of data, how to interact with APIs, how to perform some manipulation or analysis on them, and then how to report that in a user-friendly way. You could make this project really graphical, host it on some kind of website, and it would be something that you could just click a link and someone would immediately be able to see and understand exactly what you did. Now my next project idea is a blockchain based voting system. 
Now, this is interesting because this actually illustrates that you understand large scale system design and architecture because you're building something that's running on a decentralized network. Now, obviously, if you're a Web3 developer, this is going to stand out more. However, it still looks really good even on a standard developer resume to illustrate that you understand not just Web 2, but Web 3, you're able to learn a new technology, and that you understand a bit about system design, security, dynamics, blockchain networks. I know for me that I actually learned quite a bit about coding and system design in general when I started working with Web 3 technologies and blockchain because there's a whole new world of things you need to consider. First of all is security. You need to write your code in a way such that no one can hack it, no one can steal the assets. In the case of a voting system, you want to make sure things like ties are going to be handled. People can vote, people cannot vote, some people have a higher voting share than others. So this would allow you to really talk about kind of your system knowledge, how you designed it, and it's going to be less about the coding and the implementation, and more so your kind of high level architecture and design. So I think for a more mid to senior level role, this could be a great project to have on your resume and really touch on for those aspects of the job. So the next project is personally my favorite, and this is an online multiplayer game. Now, a few quick examples of ones that I've built. I did online chess. I did online Pictionary. I did an online rock, paper, scissors. I did a battleship one and I did a gar IO. We're actually like the famous game online where you have kind of the bubbles that are swallowing each other. And that one, I actually had about 20 people playing at the same time. And that was super fun to see kind of all these kids that I was teaching at a summer camp playing that game. So first of all, these are super fun. I love an online multiplayer game. A lot of people can use it. You can show it to your friends and family and it's a real app that they'll have some value in. But also it's very complicated and it shows that you have some pretty in-depth knowledge and are capable of building some pretty cool stuff. For example, if you build an online game, you need to have a client and you need to have a server. That also means you need to host the server. So you're showing that you have some cloud deployment skills, you understand client server, you understand backend development and a bit of front end development and game design, you understand networking, you understand security and how to make things scalable. And if you start thinking about how do I put something online, it really forces you to do quite a bit of design decisions, right? You have to come up with some architecture, you have to figure out what's going to be done by the server, what's going to be done by the client, what kind of machine do I need? How do I make this more scalable? Should I have multiple servers? There's a lot of different considerations and it's a great thing to talk about in an interview that I think is quite impressive and really makes you stand out. Highly recommend giving this one a shot. Now let's move on to my final project. Now my last project idea is a computer vision related application. I'm going to give you one or two examples that I would do in terms of computer vision, but you can come up with kind of whatever you want. So the first one that I love and that I've personally built is a face detection system for a Raspberry Pi security system. Now this was really cool because I actually put this in my house at a little Raspberry Pi that I set up kind of at my door. This is when I was living with my parents. It had a camera on it and when someone came up to the door, it would identify who they were based on a face detection script and it would just notify me with like a little microphone like, you know, X is at the door, Y is at the door, whatever the name of the people. So that one was super cool, used computer vision, used a hardware sensor, wasn't even that complicated to set up, but was a really cool project that I could talk about in an interview. And another one that I've set up is actually a cat tracker. So at one point in time, I had two cats. They looked very similar, but one cat would always steal the food of the other cat. So what I did is I set up a camera close to where the food actually was so I could track which cat was eating at which time. And it would kind of notify me if one of the cats was stealing the other cat's food. So an example of a real world application that used computer vision that actually did detection of, in this case, animals. Previously, it was people. They're not that difficult to build, but they're really interesting. They look great on a resume. They're real world and something you're going to have fun building. So I recommend if you can and if you have that kind of hardware, do some type of computer vision type task. It could be solving a Rubik's Cube with computer vision. That means you're also going to interact with some robotics components as well. It could be analyzing your backyard and seeing which stray cat cats hang out on your deck. That happens to me all the time. A lot of really cool applications here that are also quite visual. So if you're able to present this to someone or show it to them, they can see right away exactly what you built. Overall, those are my five project ideas. I think these are super fun, unique and interesting, and they're definitely going to make you stand out and give you an unfair advantage.